<laughs> I've been clearing up the big cupboard under my stairs, one of those which tapers down to the floor eventually, a lot of scrabbling, and find several things here which I just haven't seen for 20, 25 years. And I've got four of them here, a handful anyway, to show you. These ones are all automatons, but I've got other ones as well. This is a big egg, a large acoustic egg like this. I've actually got, I found four of these in the giant case there, so I must get them all out talking to each other. You turn it up, there's a, behind here is a switch and then a little acoustic thing here, so it works acoustically. We shouted it, 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 it performs. Turn it on and all it does is, boo, 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 hoo, hoo. And that's about it. <laughs> it's just a silly little thing that pops up like that. And it lights up too. I don't know whether you can see it, but it's, it's lighting up as well. There's a light that comes on as well. And that's all it does. So the real fun, which we might try in the studio, is to get four of them in a row, which I did when I first got these. And as one finishes, the next one has been switched on. So they're talking to each other like a chain reaction. Very large, printed circuit board. Look at the size of the stuff inside. Big printed board. It, everything will be put down to a microchip that size, you know, a few years later. But this is the late 80s and early 90s before they could do that. They're still working on printed circuit boards. So there's one. This is a very charming item, which I have another one, which I have was aware of. I didn't know I had this one as well. This is a little wind up and it's very, very charming. Although this situation they created here is a bit ridiculous. It's a car going around a desert island. I'll, I'll start off with the dome on and take the dome off and uh, you'll see it more clearly. It's a wind up like that. And it's a nice one because the wind up off center. So the whole thing will turn around. So the car goes round, these things over the top, which are like little birds in the air, they got a bit stuck there, I need to free them. And this extraordinary situation of a car somehow going half on the land and half on the sea. And I'll take this off so you can see more clearly what's happening underneath. One of the birds has got it a bit sort of caught up, I think, this one here. Come on dear, turn yourself over. No, no, there we are, that's better. Oh, this one's caught up now as well. They should be flying around, they're supposed to be gulls, I suppose, aren't they? And here we've got a surfboard, we've got a deck chair and, and the rest of it. And it's called Love Wind. There's a series called Love Wind, all in a nice box. I think Italian originally, I design, but a very sweet idea. A little wind up and it's, I think it's um, a nice design altogether. And I've got, I think, two or three of them. But this one here, which I'd forgotten about, was one I'd put away and has finally emerged after all those years. And well. Here's another one. I've, I think I may have another smaller version of this, but again, this is quite big crude stuff. It's, um, is it a hamster or is it a rat? <laughs> ah. And it turns on and goes inside this, which means it'll roll all over the floor, which I can't do, but I'll show it just working inside the thing. Put the lid on. It needs, um, and you see the sphere's got fairly mucked up with all the usage you had for the kids. So it's, it's a little bit opaque to say the least. Hang on, where's this coming? There we are starts there. Poor old thing is still stuck here. There we are. Oh, oh, oh. He, he wants to get off the table. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. So he rolls around. He's quite heavy. So he makes the sphere move around and it goes really quite gainly around even on carpets and everything. So it's a nice user-friendly, child-friendly animal because it's soft and plush and it will work on almost any surface. It makes a funny noise too. So I think it is a hamster, but it might be a rat. Well, well, there we are. Nice one, but I haven't seen the daylight for a long time. The last one's my favorite one. It's got some very nice, here's a box for it. It's called Poker Kids. And here's a little kid himself. Look at this. What a creature with springs. Look, springs on the legs. It's um, battery operated. This one here is, is what I've got. It's called a nerd. This is a nice exercise in, um, in remembering a, a trick that I'd forgotten about, and that is if you, I put it on a table originally, a nice firm surface like this, and I have to say it was a bit disappointing. All it did when you, when there's a button here you push, and I'll show you the inside in a minute. When you pushed it, that's all it did. And yet the blurb says it's supposed to stagger and rock to and fro and everything else. Well, it's hardly doing that, isn't it? If you put it on a different surface, it makes all the difference in the world. Now this surface here is quite nice and giving. So look, watch now what happens. That's much better. That's much better. And we can improve it a bit more. This one here. 
This is something I'm going to use more often. It's a proper little um, gaming board with dice and things. And on the back of this, which is interesting, because that's soft, and this is firm, but it's not that firm. It's it's only it's rather like a mini trampoline. It makes a marvellous noise. Here you go. Now that is a lot more fun for children to play with than on the original plate, which makes it so so boring. So when you're thinking about showing things to children, do remember that uh, the surface you've got it on is sometimes all important. It makes a huge difference to the performance if you do the right thing. As regards the mechanism inside, which I love showing to people, there's a very clever thing going on here. It's a motor that's going round and round and round with a good weight to it as well. I'll turn it off a minute. You can see there's a big heavy weight just here, which is dragging it down. So the whole thing boom, does a marvelous rocking action. And there are quite a few toys, about half a dozen in my collection, which have this very clever concept. And this is probably one of the earlier ones. So that makes a very, very nice um, toy for, for kids to play with. But it does need the right surface, as you find, you know. It's rather like trying to do a spinning top on a thick carpet. You can't do it, can you? So, but this is more critical, and it didn't work the first time, because I hadn't remembered. Think surfaces.